Alright people, welcome back to more Daily Duels. So today is Friday, that means you're using Infernoid. So if you haven't seen yesterday's Daily Duels, make sure you watch it because I'm a freaking idiot and I totally forgot. Uh, uh, you know, I'm really surprised that no one commented and said, Hey Daniel, you know, where's our episode of, of I mean, of I'm why, I mean Daily Duels, where's our Daily Duels? Uh, I recorded Daily Duels and of course I put my videos on schedule. So I was like, schedule upload, set it for 2 o'clock, about an hour from now, set it for 2 o'clock, right? <laughs> okay, and I don't even know why I didn't even freaking just process it in my in my goddamn mind, maybe because I'm a goddamn idiot. But uh, <laughs> uh I'm just gonna go ahead and activate charge. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab a lumina. I didn't even see what I fucking milled. Okay, I milled a lumina. Alright, so if I milled a lumina <laughs> that means all I have left is Raiden, so So if he calls four he's gonna get me, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's see how long I take to go ahead and get a ride in, of course. But, you know, he's, he's definitely going to go ahead and just be like, four. And we're like, that's right, and yeah. There's no other road that he should cut out with, like, sign. The only thing I'm running now is running, yeah, riding in Lumina, so. Let's go ahead and send a whole bunch at least until he's riding. Alright, there's riding. Alright, 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 alright. So we have Deviati. Ooh, can Deviati be special summoned? Oh, yes, she can. I, mean, you know what? I would love to summon Deviati. I think that she is a boss ass bitch. She's one of my favorite Infernoids. So, we'll go ahead and just summon her. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and get rid of you three. I'd rather go ahead and keep the Petrolia in my hand because I'm probably going to go ahead and pitch up for Lumina right now. So, Deviati, cut shut up. You don't need the background. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> anyway. Uh, set it for scheduled upload for two, but I accidentally set it for scheduled upload two on Friday. So I, I literally, I don't think I noticed it till like 9:30 at night. But I was like, I was looking, I was like, you know, how many views did I get? You know, I haven't gotten any comments or anything because you know, I was like, what, how many views? I check and then it's like zero. Like what the fuck? And I'm like, it's not even up. And no one commented. I'm really shocked by that. You know, I'm uh, completely and utterly shocked that no one commented and said. Hey, where's Daily Duels today? No one. Like, I, I, I didn't think you guys thought that less of me, people. <laughs> Go ahead and activate you. No two more. So how does your effect work? I only have wow, I only have one right left in the day. Alright. Let's go ahead. Once per turn during the player's turn, I can choose the monster to negate a monster effect. That is fine. So, is anybody I want to go ahead and synchro shock him into? I said, I'm not even. I'm worried, of course, like usual, just because he can go ahead and top deck that powerful fucking red eye fusion. I'm gonna eat a fat dick, so I'm kind of worried about that. If I summon you, yeah, you know what? Let's go into Ancient Sacred Wyvern. Because Ancient Sacred Wyvern is fucking power. Alright, he's just gonna scoop it up. That's what I said. Ancient Sacred Wyvern is power. So I'm assuming your hand wasn't that good anyway. You're using a red eyes deck, and that deck's not even good. I was worried about most you top decking a freaking red eyes fusion stuff, so it's gonna go into. Uh, Enter Sacred Wyvern, attack, you'll take 500, so I'll gain that, and attack, and then, then you'll take, uh, what is Enter Sacred Wyvern, I think 21, so I'll attack you for 26, so I'll gain, I'll be about 50 something, so, you know, even you top decking a freaking, uh, a freaking, uh, Red Eyes Fusion won't be enough, so, yep. Ah, let's get that up real quick. Alright, let's go ahead and get another one, we're back. Alright, we're back. But yeah, I, I was just like, wow, wow, why you no tell me? <laughs> you guys would have commented and said, you know, where they're doing I'm like, what are you talking about? It's right there. And I'm like, oh, I didn't set the schedule right. But no one commented anything. You guys didn't comment shit. <laughs> ah, but it's okay. You guys can watch it after this if you haven't watched it already. You guys can go ahead and pause the video, watch it now, then watch this. You can watch all my videos. <laughs> watch all 3,000 plus of my videos. Alright, so we are clearly going up against. D D D D D D D D D D D D Alright. I don't know what you're doing. There's cards in your hand. If you use seven one fusion monster, you know what you So he's gonna go ahead and fuse into this bitch well which will gain him light points instead of making him lose light points, which is totally fine. So Alright, so I just need I really I just need one more infernoid monster. I can, at least I can summon a neutral, which is the power. Wow, that was actually pretty good enough. I saw at least two. Yeah, it was at least two, so we'll go ahead and grab that right in. Yes, the 
power. Ooh, wow. Wow, that fucking crush card, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it hurts because it's a crush card, but, you know, I get to go ahead and send fucking... Well, destroy a summon Infernoid monster? Like, fuck yeah! <laughs> That's a fine exchange, because I can summon them from the graveyard, so... That, that wasn't shit. That was not shit to me. Let's go ahead and activate this fucking reasoning. Call it. I don't care. I don't call you. I don't care if it, you, I forget a Raiden or a uh, Lumina. Oh, you're so wrecked. Oh, you're. Oh, oh, GG. GG. Fucking summon Lumina. GG. GG fucking. Yep, scoop it up, bitch. You're trying to crush card me. Fuck you. Woo! That's what I'm saying. Crush card's a good card, but it's just. Ah, you know, right now, it's just like. Because. Mm, if you don't, sometimes you don't get it. Sometimes you don't want to hit shit with crush card. So <laughs> there you go. He's just like, oh my god, I'm gonna hit him with crush card and make him pitch all the cards in his hand. Like nigga, you don't even let me do my plate. You just fucking quit. Like damn. Whew. Bitch, you guessed it. <laughs> all right. Let's see what I would do. I'd probably just go ahead and uh, summon, of course, my favorite Deviati. Break these two. Run this bitch over, and then just do the same play I was playing doing last duel. You know, with the Raiden, so. Anyway, let's get another one again, and hopefully they won't keep on quitting, because the luck is too real right now. Alright, bear back. Alright, let's go again. So, like I said, I can totally devote the uh, majority of my time to go ahead and providing content and videos for you guys, because uh, I'm actually tying out Rhoda, because he's a warrior, and I like to go ahead and search him out, so I don't have to waste the like, charges on him, and go ahead and deck him. And like I said, it doesn't get in the way. Spell and trap cards that deck then, I don't mind this deck because they don't get in the way of my reasoning, yet they still add the consistency to my deck, so I'm trying not Rota. I got the idea from one of my friends who plays the deck in real life, and I saw his deck profile, and he's like, Rota, I'm like, oh yeah, fucking getting right is never a terrible thing. Except now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm like, well, I can always still search for my one <laughs> remaining. Wow, and that was a terrible meal too. Wow, all right. I guess my I guess I used up all my luck, people. I guess I'll go ahead and set this because why not? It's not going to serve a purpose. I can go ahead and mill two more. What are what are what are, what are these mills? What are these mills? Okay, at least I milled Sentinels. Like, can I mill some Infernoids at least? God. <laughs> so <laughs> let me try to throw it out. <laughs> It's not bad, I can always get it right here. No. Draw it. I was thinking, I was like, you know what, I'm probably gonna draw this third right in, aren't I? It ain't doing too much in my hand right now. It's not terrible to draw, just because, you know, he's a nice beater. Oh, he's actually 19, because I actually milled Illumina. That's, that's interesting. You know what the suck thing about multiple Rydens is? You can only use the effect of Rydens once per turn. So, it's, it's not like I can even freaking summon another Rydens and mill four. Like, no. When you're doing Inferno, it's kill Raiden. Always kill Raiden. Alright? It's a tip for you guys who uh, don't really play against Inferno. It's kill the Raiden. Because I can literally just keep on milling each turn. You don't want me to do that. Alright. We're going to go ahead and special summon. Uh, banish you. And you. I'll hold on to the Sevenness because I might want to use him in the future. Go ahead and summon the Tondal. I'll say, what do you possibly have? Fuck. Look what the fuck. Alright. So Tondo will go ahead and kill your monster. Hmm. Okay. So I don't know what this card does. Oh yeah, here my pack. Go ahead and get an additional attack. Bam, hit him again. Blah 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 when this card destroys both from the live battle. Did you dare you can't do that card can make it? Oh wait, I'm reading fucking I was reading fucking a tondle. I thought I was reading freaking uh the his card. Put the super head down, you can die attack during first battle plays when a punk card was to bench this card from your grave by engage activation if you do destroy it. Then destroy all monsters on the field if you do it for now. Okay, I guess. 
I'll probably just go ahead and rip you out of the fucking grave. Like, like you aren't even anything. So yes, I have a super heavy samurai. And it activates during the battle phase. Wow! It's fucking mills, the monster gates and all that shit. Like, wow. Like I said, this deck is kind of fun. I try to make it as consistent as a luck-based deck can be by running the other shit that's not just, you know, infernally. I thought maybe the Roto would help, and clearly it didn't. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Oh, he's gonna sink for that one guy who wipes my back row, right? Ah, that's fine. I'm gonna hold on to the A button whenever he does something. Yeah, he's gonna go to the one who wipes my back row. Okay. So if you don't have any what, spells or traps in your graveyard, you can destroy those spell and trap cards you call controls. That's fine. So what do you do? Uh. This card is sent to a graveyard. You can add one spirit or something. Oh, well. No, that, that, that's fine. This is during my battle phase. During either player's battle phase, when a opponent's card activates our card while you control some very similar. It's face up in the defense position. You can banish this card from graveyard and you can attack it if you destroy it. Then draw a monster on the field. Okay. Wow, actually, well, I forgot that you could attack in the fence mode. So, of course, you can go ahead and chain your fit. So, what's this say? This card is triggered, blah, 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 blah. You don't do anything. You're probably about to go off right now, because when a pawn's card effect is while you control superior size of the you can banish this card from your graveyard. if you do, destroy it, then destroy all monsters on the field, and if you do, inflict a thousand damage to both players. It's a quick effect. So, I'm assuming that you're going to go ahead and activate that card. So, go ahead and activate it. No, it just seems like you're gonna leave it alone. Okay. You guys see that card? I saved it for. No, next turn. Okay. Like, super heavy samurais are weird. Like, they don't run any back rows, so they try to, you know, pull off their plays. Their back row. Oh, well. Well, now I can fuck you up. Hmm. What do I have in here? I don't have any Infernal Lights. <laughs> I was like, what do I have? Nothing. That's what I fucking have. Absolutely nothing. Makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and act my reason. Don't call four, because I don't got any fours left. All I have is three. All I have is Luminous. All I run is right in, right in Luminous, because I don't want them I don't want them to get in my way. That's fine. So, call it. Four. Alright, so. Definitely going to get my Luminous. See how much I'm now. Yep. There's Lumina. Does it have some kind of freaking one that that freaking blocks fucking I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just saying sitting here saying fucking because I don't know what the hell I'm saying. What fucking great commentary. Then it was not to second say, so he's gonna suck and say fucking fucking over again. Fucking fucking fuckity fuck 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 fuckity fuck 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 fuck. <laughs> Think about maybe summoning Raiden and then maybe tributing it just to take that out of there because I feel like he's planning on using this. And even though the new player's turn, when your opponent activates the card effect while you control it, that'd be Samurai. Take the defense position, but I'm not really planning on activating anything during the battle phase. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe go ahead and tribute Lumina just to take it out of there, just in case. I don't really need Lumina, I'm not playing on Sigar something. Yeah, I'll go ahead and activate my fact. Let's go ahead and take you out of the graveyard before I go into the battle phase. I feel like it maybe has some kind of, you know, hand traffic going on.
Let's just card there. Second so thing I'm going to do is, okay. You can just card and target one defense position so that I want to be controlled. Yeah, that card loses it, but it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effect. Huh. Okay. That's fine. So, Super Mario's heaven, right? Don't run any back row, but then try to make it up with their, you know, hand traps and monster effects, so... That's totally fine. <sighs> yeah. Still not in the chat position. I'll probably just go ahead and tribute you off and then start doing some Infernoid plays, because... Clearly I'm not doing any fucking Infernoid plays this fucking duel. Besides summoning that Tondal. Let's see what you got left. You got six. Yeah, you got five cards in hand. He's six cards. You have resources, so I want to see you pull something off. I don't see this deck very often. And uh, the back row, no back row, and it leaves holes in the deck. But you know, at least they have the surprise factor of you know. Uh, I'm just this card by someone else behind one. Oh, that's powerful. That is super powerful. Just be able to tribute summon him, tribute him, and go ahead and summon your big guy. Yep, there it is. Big Ben K. Big Big Ben Gay. <laughs> Kill monsters. You know what? I wanna die. I'm die anyway. I'm not tripping him off the den, you know, because they have to direct attack him. And it's not like I need Redden anyway, so I'll go ahead and pick it. So during any first turn, when a card effect is activated, it targets the super heavy time, I'm not targeting you. I'm just gonna go into a new chew. Hopefully I milled him. I think I did. I should have milled one. Yeah, I milled a new chew. Yep, just gonna go into a new chew. We got a ton of shit in the graveyard, so... We'll go ahead and get rid of you guys, because I can't even use you anymore. Pick up. You like an effect veil or something? Like that, you run hand traps, so maybe you run effect veil and shit. You got Thumb Max C. Wow, that guy again. This is just getting kind of annoying, because he has multiples of this shit. <laughs> so I just, is it once per turn or just this turn? This is our target one transfers and once turn until the end phase of this turn. Wow. So it literally is until the end phase of this turn. That's, that's fucking incredible. <laughs> love how my fucking Void Seers and fucking Skill Prisoners aren't doing shit. <laughs> I love that shit. Go ahead. You got another one, so you only have one more left in the deck, sir. Still looking annoying, because keep doing this. <laughs> Alright, I can only summon him back. Unless you kill me this turn with your big old booties. Steadfast dueling here. <laughs> No back row. Who needs back row when you have strong monster effects? Like, that's true. Sometimes, to an extent. Yeah. If you get one up with back row, then it sucks, but, you know, you've clearly shown that you don't need no back row. So, are you gonna do some kind of play, or are you just gonna kill my Nuchu by attacking it, and then I'll just summon it again? Like, I'm gonna wipe you, sir. And hopefully, you'll have the third one. Hopefully, you drew the third one. Oh, you're just gonna attack over me. Alright. <sighs> yep, that's fine. The seer only protects from what, uh... Wow. Huh. <laughs> seer only protects from being destroyed by card effect, right? Yeah, by card effect. And you protect me from being targeted. Uh, I said, I have powerful plays, it's just... It's gonna keep on fucking me up! So, we'll go ahead and... You guys... Me. 
shoot you again. Yes. You got another one? Good. Die. It's annoying. You on Battle Fader and shit? Okay, thank you. Alright, uh, you know what? I feel like getting one more to one. Be right back. Ah, I forgot what I was saying. Before I got into that duel, but, uh, I'm done with my class. Uh, she fixed my final, because she fucked up my final. She fixed it, so I got 100% of my final. Participates 100%, 100% point-wise. Did I pick, did I select first? Oh, he selected me to go first. Ew. No, no, I'd, I'd rather, no. I'd rather go second. <laughs> I'd rather go second. This hand isn't that good either. It's so full of infernoid monsters and nothing else. Like, alright. Wow, discover fucking hippo. <laughs> He's gonna fucking hop on it and fucking ride it around. Ew, fucking supply squad. Alright, probably have to fucking banish that card because I know I fucking hate that card. I hate that card with a passion, so. Really? <laughs> Wow, fucking scrub. He's like, oh, I can activate MSC, MSC my own card? Like, <laughs> like, Nick, I don't have anything. Stupid fucking idiot. Wow. Scrub, then quit. Scrub. One more duel. I, I one more duel. We're right back. Alright, last duel, last duel, last duel. <laughs> wow, MST his own card. That was kind of funny. Alright, well, let's see how powerful reasoning is. Like, you usually want that milling effect. Yeah, we want that milling effect. So let's see, hopefully we get at least a couple cards before we hit one of our right the luminous. Set, set. Set, set, what? You gonna play monster? You just gonna set two. Set two, alright. Set two mill monsters, alright. This says this card attacks an opponent's monster, of course. Shit. Well, reasoning. I mean I don't care if I get a luminous or a red, I'll take either one, so. I really, I just want to run on the field because I'm not planning on summoning one of these two, not at all. You probably call four, and if you hit a red, and then hey. Yep. Wow! Wow! Wow, that was bad. That was, that was, that was much worse than I wanted it to be, of course. No! <laughs> one! <laughs> not, not, I didn't get anything. Like, I, could, I, could I at least get a courtesy like the fucking reason? Could I at least get one card? Like, nah, you get nothing. You get fucking Luna. This is not, at least it wasn't just Raiden, go to the grave. You know, at least it wasn't that. And at least Luna will go ahead and mill me three during the end phase. I don't like that she mills me three during the end phase because it's fucking slow. Really slow. Yeah. If Luna didn't have its effect to summon back, you know, and allow me to do some synchroing plays, if it just straight up didn't allow, uh, straight up, I would rather. Hands in a bear bar. Okay, so I would rather. I shit you not. I would rather run Car Trooper. Wow, and then my next card was fucking Lumina again. Like, wow, all right. So, what was the point of activating that card? I guess you're gonna go ahead and act. Yeah, but say there he is. It's like, what was the point of activating that card if you weren't gonna, you know, do anything with it? But then I'm just gonna go ahead and summon him. So another DDD deck. I guess that's what, that's what he was waiting on. And of course he's 26. <laughs> I was looking for something a little bit smaller so I could handle something do it with Sedimus. But nope. 26, just like Sedimus. Like, God damn it. <laughs> he's just gonna claw me up. Tear me apart. That sucks. <laughs> Who did I mill? Ooh, Deviati. My bay. Deviati's bay. Whoa! Where'd they get more attack from? Who gives more attack? <laughs> you can special summon this card from your hand. If you do, gain life points. You can damage check in here. Wow. Okay. That's like, what? That, that's crazy. That's fucking crazy. 
So, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Drew Raiden. I was thinking I was going to draw Raiden. I think I might just summon Debbie Yachty. Wipe his back row. This is a 28. That's crazy. Yeah, summon Raiden. Mill 2. Summon Debbie, Debbie Yachty. Wipe his back row. Regeki. And attack over him. That's crazy. Uh, that's, that's, that's crazy. Look at them fucking strong ass beaters. Like, oh my god. So, right in and go ahead and go me too. That is fine. We're going to go ahead and special summon one of the Deviatis. So, you in the graveyard. Actually, one in the tundle in the graveyard. Yeah, you and one of the Anantras in my hand. Some Deviati. Deviati, Heavy Storm. Deviati, it's just, it's, you know, it's a Heavy Storm, it's a 29 beater, attributed to freaking Negate Monster Effect. Like, it's a power. Fine. So, that's totally fine. I can always summon it back. That's what I'm saying. That didn't really do anything. Uh, I don't even need to use the Regeki, and I'm not. I'm, I'm, you know what? I might just go ahead and summon Sedimus and just run these two over. Or I can go into. I mean, not Sedimus. Uh, Anantra. A Tondal. God. <sighs> They're all running together. A Tondal. Tondal. You, you, summon you. All right, have it. They're level twelve, so I can go into freaking uh, Quasar. Like fucking people always doing that shit incorrectly it drives me crazy. So, kill you. Oh, I don't send you to the fucking graveyard. Oh my god, I'm so bad. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get my effect. I have to send you to the graveyard. That's right. Totally forgot about that fucking shit because I'm bad. Ah, fine. Totally forgot. Totally forgot. I thought it was just kill a monster by battle. I really did. I really thought it was just kill a monster by battle. That was totally my bad. I forgot they were both pendulum based monsters. Not as if. Not as if I'm gonna allow you to fucking do that. Must have turned into the negate all this on. Do you have any kind of graveyard effect? Do you have any kind of anything effect? I don't think so. Oh, during your punch. Oh, this is what is giving you the, the additional attack. Okay. Let me damage that. I was like, what is giving him that additional attack? I thought it was his effect. <laughs> Like, it's like, why did I get my additional attack? <laughs> <It's here. laughs> Ew, I didn't want to draw that. Oh, charge would be great right now. Uh, wow. Can't summon anybody, so. I guess I'll go ahead and attack. Wow. I'll set the Seer, which is not something I wanted to draw right now, but alright. Like, I cut Seer down to two. It was getting cloggy at three. It really was. So I cut that shit down to two. That's fine. At least I pulled out your Galaxy Cyclone, so. It's not like I run back, bro. It's not. I don't, so. Woo! What a great top deck. That's a very nice top deck. I think that's game, actually. Unless you have some way of blocking my attack, I think that's game. Alright, mill two. Mill two. So, when I attack you with a tundle, it's 28, so you'll be at 3,000. That means I'll be 16 ahead of you. 16. You'll be at 3,000 left. 16 plus the. 
21 yard, I think, yeah, I think that's game. If you take a Riven, wrap this door up. So, Found door attack. Bam, flips around to 37. If you take a Riven attack. They're like, oh, it's just 19, it's only 900, then bam, a tunnel smacks you in the face. Like, 37, that's game, no! <laughs> Like, I really like Ancient Psycho Wife, and I like this card. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call that an episode of Daily Duel. So, like I said, Infernoids, you're a chill deck. They're fun. It's just a little bit too buck based for me to ever want to make it in real life. So, but I don't, totally don't mind playing it here on Daily Duel. So, it's nicely uh, to go ahead and end the week with just, you know, doing the luck based deck. If I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. Doesn't matter. But it's just knowing that I'm pressing my luck and like gambling at the end of the week. You know, I get my paycheck, time to gamble. Let's play Infernoids. <laughs> Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, of course, uh, with the changes in effect, taking the weekend off. So, I will be back on Monday. So, I uh, look forward to it. Look forward to my return Monday using Talonites. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys after the weekend. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.